Bad Moms. Bad Moms, Bad Movie. Really? And with that, we should aim for the record. Shortest. Uh, five seconds. Uh, no. Uh, Mima Kunis. I'm not a fan. For some reason. Uh, Kirsten Bell. Well, uh, here I've seen quite a few good performances. The last one was... Uh, uh, what was the name? The Coupons Queens. Um, I forgot the name. Uh, in which... Uh, Kirsten Bell's character had a friend and they realized that they can play the coupons which are uh, omnipresent, uh, conspicuous uh, and you see them a lot. Well, maybe not so much here, although in America. And so they, 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 they do this business. Uh, <laughs> take a lot of coupons and they sell. Uh, not covered as with the currency. Currency has to have, uh, if you throw out a lot of paper, uh, printed and you say these are dollars, pounds, and there's no reserve, there's nothing to back them up, they, they become worthless. They become just what. Uh, they are literally and metaphorically paper. If I already explains in his uh, Homo sapiens uh, brief history of humankind, uh, the conventions that we all sign up to money, forms, Peugeot gives them more secret. This doesn't really exist, we just accept this uh, fiction. Same with all the other companies. Anyway, let's, let's tell you a little. So, they sell these coupons and people can go and Okay, I have this coupon, give me. <laughs> Half the shop. <laughs> of course, they, they're tracked. And then there's Vince Vaughn in the movie. I don't know the name of the fellow who, who played the that kind of Clint Eastwood play with a bomb in Atlanta, uh, Richard Jewell. And I was in Atlanta, by the way, for the Olympics. Not as an Olympian, but working for AT&T for peanuts because they used slaves uh, back then. Well, uh, they did pay me $250. And expected twenty thousand dollars worth of service. Anyway, that's. But if you have a good lawyer and you're interested, maybe we write and tell them how ethical they'd be. Uh, so to try and return to all those bad moms. No, no, not, not. Ah, let me just say a scene. I mean. Uh, one that is for some amusing and was excessive, uh, obnoxious, in fact. Uh, so they go wild in a, in a shop. And there are these faces, which again, maybe for some are funny, but uh, let's rock this boat or something. I don't remember the lines, obviously. <coughs> They're not something. And then they start pouring liquids all over the place and uh, mixing and and uh, and wasting so much. And I'm thinking also with this occasion, what is the, these movies that are so bad, but then all and waste so much? They should make more on computer. What's all this? I need to to pour uh, even if it's just colored water. Uh, Chemicals, uh, waste, and 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 uh, unfriendliness towards the environment have been involved in this because to and then uh, to imagine so many cuts. Let's do the scene again and let's waste and 
and, and with, with cars and with trucks and shooting the scene again and again and I, I don't know. And well, I would say, yeah, but it's a work of art and it's worth doing it and then it's the, the end result justifies it. But in the case of a movie like this, well, it doesn't. It's just a waste of talent and also of energy, of, of products, of chemicals, of so much more.